Well, uh, the fall season of uh, TV shows have returned, and a lot of my shows are returning this for the the 2015-2016 season. And I'm going to try to do my best to give my thoughts on some pilot episodes, especially the new shows. You'll definitely see uh, pilot episodes on Blindspot, uh, Limitless, um, well, of course, Supergirl, when that comes out, and certain other aspects, but... I'm here to talk about another show. Uh, as a child, guys, I was a huge fan of the Muppets. Still am to this day. Uh, they still can make me laugh and I still get a good entertainment out of these characters. These beloved characters created by Jim Henson. And recently, as you all know, uh, Tuesday was the premiere of the new... Muppet Show, and this is my thoughts on it. I gotta say, this was very entertaining. It's very funny. I liked it very much. Um, I like the concept of how they do it now. It goes about doing it like there's like a, it's almost like a documentary now in terms of, you know, everybody gets a chance to talk with like the camera crew, which which was really funny. It was it, that was really funny. Um, there are some big big moments. Well, I should say some big spots in this show that actually is pretty funny, um, and I'm gonna talk about those as well. First of all, Fozzie has a girlfriend, which is <laughs> really funny, <laughs> and um, they play that up really funny. It's like you know, Fozzie's scared to meet his girlfriend's parents. I think. We all, you know, guys, we all can kind of go feel that way, uh, who had that kind of, ask, you know, that fear, meeting the parents. Um, and I loved how, you know, they're, they're kind of playing on that he's a bear and, you know, they're eating salmon and they're like, so how do you like the salmon? And he's like, it's very good. And, you know, I, I would have left it out, you know, because I know you, you know, you guys eat it raw and it was really funny. <laughs> and then the dad was like, Oh, what if they have kids? How are they going to have kids? What Are, are they going to live out in a, in a house or are they going to live in the woods? I was like, oh my God, what it was funny. Um, we get to see the breakup, actually, in this episode. Uh, what is the What has Piggy and Kermit break up? You know, um, you know this kind of relationship they've been together for God knows how long. Um, it was never kind of really said if they were a couple. It's like, it kind of felt like, to me, it felt more like, it never really was really official if they were a couple. I mean, the movie showcased, they did get married in one, you know, and then I'm like, okay, are they really a couple or not? I mean, but you could clearly see that Piggy was the, aggressor in that like she was almost the dominant you know of that relationship and we get to see like almost that kind of is the breaking point for Kermit it's like you know I can't do with this anymore you know he he, he kind of they're supposed to be going out to a movie I think they were going to see uh perfect pitch too and they missed the they missed it because piggy's let's say it piggy has a she as an ego and you know she's she feels that she needs to be in everybody's selfie like even if they're not aware of it like this one scene like she, these this couple is taking a selfie and she she actually jumps in the selfie but i was like and he's like that's exactly what i'm talking about like and it's to the point yeah kermit like kind of like look i can't do this anymore like i'm done like we, we gotta break up uh but it also comes to the point of it also is also a focal point of why Miss Piggy has a big problem with actress Elizabeth Banks, which is really funny too. Like, uh, they tried everything to keep her away from the studio, which is funny what Sc Scooter was doing. 
<laughs> that was funny. Like she kicks Scooter out of the, the and he he chases after her, which is a, a, just too funny. Um, we also get uh, a sense of we get to see Kermit's new girlfriend and. Kermit's a, he's a pig guy. He likes pigs and he's attracted to pigs. And this new girlfriend is uh, a pig. And uh, she, I think she runs catering or something like that, if I remember correctly. Uh, but uh, she's kind of like a little bit, she, she has more of a Southern twang. You can see like, I guess she's supposed to be like a Southern belle because she has like a Southern accent, which is pretty funny. Um, but Piggy don't like her and says uh kermit's getting fat because you know all she kind of does is feed kermit which is <laughs> it was funny um the the other big thing is the the band the 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 band imagine dragons good band listen to their music really good uh actually tells uh one of my favorite muppets uh animal like hey animal if you ever want to come on tour with us you'll be great and um Floyd actually says, no, he can't do tours. And Animal says, ah, too many women, too many towns. <laughs> and that, that had me laughing. I was like, oh, that's that's funny. Uh, so it kind of says why Animal doesn't go on tour. Like, Animal's a good drummer, but he can't do tours. He can't do road tours. And uh, that that was funny. All of this series, this, this was a good start to a... Can I say, quote unquote, a reboot or a retelling or a remake of the Muppet Show or just just a just a, a next version of the the Muppet Show? And, you know, I've already heard, you know, people are boycotting this because it's a little bit perverted. I'm like, I didn't necessarily see what was so perverted about it, you know, uh, I didn't really get. I don't. I don't understand really where that that's coming from. It it was on Twitter where I read that, um, but I'm not really understanding that too much. I mean, is there a little bit of an adult theme to it? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. There is, you know, but you know, the Muppets have grown up. You know, they come on. They you can't. They, you know, they they've grown up and, you know, that. But you know, I guess you know, there's some people that, you know, want them to be the lovable. Muppets they've been since the 19 what 70s you know 60s or so but you know it it's still there guys it's still there but it's just now that they're on prime time eight o'clock now depending on where you are there is a part of it like that shows you still can have your funniness and the lovable side of what the what what makes the Muppets who they are but then you have another side of them that showcases, yeah, they, they're, we're kind of grown now. We're, we're, we're going to hit you with a little bit of some things that are a little bit of thought theme, but still keep it to a point of kids can watch it and not really get too like, oh, hey, what, what was that? What did that mean or anything like that? Uh, but bottom line, yeah, the, the I will continue to watch this. Um, I'm glad to see that, you know, this is... They're giving another shot to the Muppets, uh, you know, the, the beloved characters they are. The only thing I kind of had a problem with, um, guys, and, you know, call me picky, but no Rolf the dog? No Rolf the dog? What else, what's, what's up with that? No Rolf. I didn't see one instance of Rolf. I was like, hey, where's Rolf at? Like, I would have I thought Rolf would have been a part of the band that brings in, you know, Piggy on her show or her talk show, but no, Rolf. Better have Rolf on the show. You can't have Rolf the dog, man. That's that was my dude too. To play a mean on the on the on the piano, man. It was. I I have my favorite Muppets, and Rolf was one of them. Rolf and no Rolf the dog. I was a little bit like, hey, where's Rolf? You know, everybody else is there, but no Rolf. I was a little bit like, eh. Mm, no Rolf, but you know it, it was still good. But I I get a I I got a kick out of Fozzie having a girlfriend now. That and yeah, she's human, and you know the parents don't like him, but is her girlfriend 
his girlfriend's more like, you know, I don't care what they think, you know, I'm going to, we're going to be together. And he's still, he's like, cause I, she says the L word to him and he says, you know, that doesn't do nothing for me. <laughs> I got to get them to like me. I thought that was funny. But overall, if I was to give this a rating out of 10, I'm going to go a 8.5, you know, that was, it was good. I'm um, looking forward to see where this goes and uh, hopefully it stays around a good while to, uh, for a new generation that never grew up with the Muppets like my generation did or our parents' generation, you know, you know so it's, it's, it was good. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, but other than that, guys, you guys, if you have watched the, the first episode of the new Muppets show, tell me what you think, thought about it in the comment section below, as always. And uh, this is Mom Running Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned for real, guys. I will see you guys next time with some more. Stay tuned for the other re reviews coming up soon uh, when I finish watching them. They're all on my DVR. I just got to watch them. And tomorrow and the next two days will be pretty good to watch them because I'll be off from work for Thursday and Friday so I can literally be able to watch them without have to worry about, I gotta go work, things like that. So, I'll see you guys next time. Y'all take care.